Okay, so we did the, first of all, welcome my YouTubers, Chainmail YouTubers. Thank y'all for tuning in to my video. Um, this is your girl, Queen. Uh, still working on my towers, my Chainmail towers. I started on my square tower and my triangle tower. Now I'm finna do a new project, which is my circle tower. So... Took me a few days to figure out how to do this. I didn't realize how hard this was going to be, but <coughs> <coughs> I figured it out. And I can already see how I'm going to um, zip up these layers because it's going to be 25 layers. It looks pretty good. I'm not sure how big I'm going to do it yet. But I figured out how to keep it going bigger and bigger and bigger. All you got to do is add more rings. I didn't know that. So. Okay, to start the next layer. To start the next layer, we're working off of these rings. These rings. We're starting on these rings. This is to start our next layer. And we're going to do it all the way around. And you're going to automatically know when it's time to put new rings on. Because it's going to start getting... It's going gonna, it's gonna to leave an open gap. So you're going to know then it's time to put extra rings on to make your piece bigger. You're going to start. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> you put four rings on. Four rings the beginning of each link. Okay, that's two, 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 three, four more. Okay, one more. Well, four rings on that first link. Okay, now you can move to the next one, which is right here. Okay, next one. You can put four rings on there. rings that's uh two so far okay so 
That's going to be two so far. You're going to have to put two more. Two more. I don't know why I won't just put on my glasses. I'm so blind. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. So I can close these rings. Look at that. Can't close rings. Without your glasses, if you have blonde. Okay, let's fix these closures. Oh, my phone not isn't charging. Oh, my blender is not charging. That's because it's not on. Inside the cover. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, now we're charging. Now we're charging. <laughs> Again, we're using 14 gauge rings, 14 gauge rings, 516 ID for the circle tower. This is the first layer. This is the first layer, and so far we got one, two, okay, now we're going to put one more on there. Put one more on that circle tower, like so. Now you can take this. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, now this tower with this circle, circle of uh, sheet. This is the first layer with this circle layer. You can either go all the way around with that two, two, two chain on these rings right here. You can either go all the way around, put your four rings all the way around on these, uh, what, what would I call these rings? These rings right here, the in-between rings, here, here, here. Okay, the in-between rings. You want to put your next ring here. Oh, look at that closure. Closure is not right. Okay. So if we're looking at the piece... Okay, you want your next rings to go here, in between. You want to put four rings on there. One. Two. Okay, you got those two on. Okay, you got them right there and right there. Alright, you're going to put your other two right here. One. Two. You want four rings right there. 
Now you can start connecting these if you want to. Or you just work your way around the piece. You can work your way all the way around the piece or you can start connecting them. Okay, so far we got three pieces on. See that? Now move to the next one, which is right here, that in between ring. Put one right there. You're gonna put you're putting four rings on. Okay, number two. Number two. Okay, two more. One. Okay, two. And that's your four rings. That's your four rings. Okay. Let me show y'all how we look. Again, this is going to be a 25 layer tower. Circle tower. This is the first layer. Okay. There we go. Now we just keep going around. We need four four rings. Around. See that? You want to go all the way around a piece. And four. Make sure those closures are closed. Okay. We get near. All right. We got so far. We got four on. Five on. So far, we got five on. Okay. You want those to go all the way across, all the way around. See that? This is our next ring, right here. This is our next ring. Sorry about that. This is our next ring. Right here. This is our next ring. This is our next ring. This is our next ring. This, this. Okay. One. That's one. Four. There we go. I'm trying to keep the piece flat so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let's fix it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, and five. Okay, the next ring we're going to do is right here. We're going to put four rings on there. <coughs> Keep it straight so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. This one. This one. And last one, four. Like I said, at this point of the project, or the circle, you can start connecting these two, two rings all the way around, or you can keep going like this and collect them. <laughs> <coughs> connect them later. And I'm going to show y'all The part that took me the longest to figure out. <coughs> and that's how to make your circle bigger. Because when you first start off, it's going to want to stay small. It's going to want to continue to keep drawing up. It's going to want to keep, it's going to want to get tight. But there's a way to fix that. All you're doing is add more rings. <coughs> you add more rings in certain spots to make it bigger. can see it's hard to keep the piece flat. Okay, move on to the next one, straighten these out as best you can, so you can see what's going on, you see what ring go where, it's a real 2, two, two chain all the way around, real simple, okay, so we got our next ring is going to go 
here. Right here. Our next four rings. Okay, our next four rings is going to go here. And we're going to put four here. Taking that four, two, two chain all the way around. Okay, one. Two. Mm -hmm. Fix that closure. Two. Three. Three. All right, we got four. Okay, so we're gonna see where we at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, got a few more to go, y'all. One more go. Okay, see? Can y'all see what's going on here? Hold on. Let's put that right there. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Okay, let's straighten this piece out. Let's see if we can move it up just a little. And we want to move it up and over. What's that all in the way? Okay. So we want to move the piece up just a little. Okay, let's put it right here. One. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay. Let's keep it going. We got one, two, three. We got four more to go. Four more to go. Trying to do this and not move the camera. It's not easy to do. Okay. 
Okay. Let's take her around so I can get to these next ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, ten. Okay, we're ten in.
Okay, that's done. Got one more. Let me show y'all the next step. Okay, four. Now the next step is we're gonna connect. We're gonna connect. We're gonna connect here. Connect here, here, these two, 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 these two. Okay, you gotta make sure they sit in a certain way. They gotta be flat. They gotta be flat. You don't want them to twist. If you twist, you know you got it wrong. There you go. I think, nope, that's the wrong way. Nope, that's the wrong way. Okay, I think it's this way. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now you want them to lay just like this. This is how you want them to lay. You want it to be just like that. Just like that. Now you want to put number two ring. Put the second ring on the same way. Make sure they're flat. Okay, close that. So you want to do that all the way around, but you want to connect your rings. Okay, make sure this is the ring you just put on. So you want to move your piece to the next one. And you want you want these two. You want these two connected. Okay. Like so. Okay. Close. Now you want to put your second ring. And you can always test it to see if you got them going the wrong, right way. And as you can see, you do. This is the ring you just put on. And you always want to double your rings. So you want to put another one on there. Like so. Okay, you want to double that ring. Simply just stick it through those two rings. Stick it through those two rings. And these two rings. And then you close it. Okay, go back around on your place. Okay, you want these and these. 
those two. My rings aren't previous. I didn't previously open my ring, so. You want these two? Nope, these two. That's where we at. Come through from the back. Like that. And then go around. Like that. Because you want it to sit like this. You want your ring to sit like this. You want your ring to sit like that. Okay. Now you want your second ring on. Repeat. Okay. See how it's shaping up? See how it's shaping up? And see, that's when you know you're doing it right. Okay, so you're going to take these two previous rings. These two rings and add two new rings. You want it to go just like that. That's how you want it to look. Okay, you add an old ring and a new ring. Old ring and a new ring. All the way around. You're doing it all the way around. Okay, old ring, new ring, just like that. Check your work, make sure your ring is sitting right, and it is perfect. Okay, put your other ring on there. Okay, remember you're going in a circle. You're making a circle. And you're going, all you're doing is connecting all the way around in a circle. Now you're going to take that and put it with that. Okay, there you go. You want these two. These and these. Old ring, two old rings and two new rings. Okay, you want these two rings. Those two rings you just put on. And two new rings. Two old rings. Make sure they sitting right. Because if they're not sitting right. Okay. Make sure they land flat. Like that. Okay. There you go. And put your second ring on and keep going all the way around with that pattern. This is a repetitive pattern, so once you got it, you're gonna always get it. You never forget it because it's it's repetitive. And I'm going to show y'all what it looked like when it's, why you need to add new rings. I'm going to show y'all when it's time to add new rings, I mean. To make it go all the way around. See, this pattern is not going to go all the way around by itself. You're going to have to add new rings to keep it going. See how see how little it is? See how short it is? See, it's time for me to add new rings. It's already time for me to add new rings. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to add new rings. I'm going to add new rings. Okay, I already see I'm going to need new rings here and here. Okay, but let's just keep going and see. We're not going to add new rings until we absolutely have to. So let's 
let's get these two. One and two. Let's get those two. One. Uh oh. One. Okay. Nope, I twisted my ring. You see that? I twist my ring. That was going to be wrong. Oh. Two old rings. Two new rings. Just like that. Oh, I can't stand this camera, but uh, it takes some. You're going to have to get used to running a camera while you're doing a video. I will tell you this it's not an easy thing to do. All you can do is hope and pray that your audience understand what it is you're doing. Because this camera is. Always, always, always in a way. Okay, so we got our second one on on that one. And this is how we look. This is how we look. And you're going to do all that all around. All the way around in a circle. And this is where we are so far. We still got these. Let me show you. We still got all these. And then we still got all that space. So we're gonna... Still got all that space. I'll let you know when it's time to add new rings. So we want that these two old rings. And these two new rings. Right there. These two. Okay. Now we're gonna open four rings. I mean two rings. Gonna open two rings. And we're gonna get three of two old rings. Hold on. I'm gonna grab them two old rings and them two new rings. Two old rings. And two new rings. Here we go. Close it up. Grab another one. Do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. 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 Okay. Now go to the next one. Open up the ring. One. Two. Grab them old rings and grab you two new rings. Oh, that's twisted. See that? That's not right. Okay, take that out. I'm make sure they land properly. Okay, there you go. Two old rings and two new rings. Okay, make sure it's laying properly, and it is. Now you're ready to add your other ring. Okay. There you go. Okay, continue going around until you can't go around anymore. And then that's when we add new rings. Let me see something. Let's put this, let's lay that down. Okay, see, we're going to have to put new rings here and here. Here, here, and here. Okay, I see. We're going to have to add three new rings. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to have to add a new ring here. One. Two. 
to three, four, four. Okay, as you can see now, now we got now we got the space we need to connect another ring. Now we got these two spaces over here. We're gonna need a ring here, a ring here. Maybe we only need two. Let's check and see. One, two. Three, four. Hopefully, we only need two extra rings. Not two extra rings, but two extra uh, units. These two, two, two chains are called units. One. Two. Okay, adding these two extra sets should bring everything together nicely. Okay, so I added, I added the extra set. set. Okay, let's close that before I start jabbering. Okay, so I added an extra set here, and I added an extra set here. So now, as you can see, this should be able to go all the way around now. This should be able to go all the way around now without having any gaps with the two rings I just put on. See that? We put two extra rings in, two extra sets in. All right, now let's test it. Two O-rings. Two O-rings. Two new rings. Close it. Add a second ring. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Okay. There it is. And I can make this circle, doing it this way, I can make this circle as big as I want it. And it's going to be huge. Because I'm making like 25 layers of this. And I already see how I'm going to connect those layers together. Okay, take a, two old rings and two new rings. Close it up. Okay. Close it up. Repeat. Close it up. Okay. Two old rings. Two new rings. Okay, repeat. Repeat. Okay. See where we at so far. See where we at so far. See where we at. We got two more to go. Two more connections to go for that full circle. Two O-rings. 
two new rings. Remember, people, I've added two extra sets, two extra links to this row so it can fit around perfectly. Repeat. Close. We're down to the last one now, y'all. Look at that. My, if you look closely, my, my circle is not, it's not tight. You have plenty of room. Plenty of room. My circle is not tight. It's not being pulled in different directions. It's a perfect circle. It's a perfect circle. Perfect circle. Now we're down to the last two. We might have to add another ring. Or we might not have to. I don't know. Yep. Definitely got to add another one. So... Technically, I added three new sets. One. This is a new set. Two. Wait, let me show y'all the reason why I add rings so y'all can see how what I'm talking about when I say you have to add new rings. See? Your piece is going to tell you when to add new rings. Your circle is going to tell you, okay, this is where we're at now. Okay, look at that. Okay, see that? Now come up here. This is the old ring. This is a new ring. Look at all that space in between there. See that space? See all that extra space? So that tells me that this string and this ring it's going to be all wops at it. So, we got to put an extra set here. When I mean an extra set, that just mean a 4-4. Four, four. four rings. 2-2-2 two, two, two chain. 4 rings. 2-2, two and two, rather. 1. Two. Uh oh. Where am I? I lost my oh. One. Keep up with your place. It's easy to get discombobulated. One, two. Okay, this is what we did in the beginning. The two two two. Okay, one. Two. Okay, this is where we just added our new ring. This is your old ring, and this, this is your new ring. And this is your set. Four, four. I mean, your uh, unit. You need four rings to complete a unit. Two. Three. Three, four. See how it look now? Remember that gap? That gap is gone now. Okay, let me show y'all. Okay, I just added these four rings. Okay, let's go up here and here. So I just added these four rings. Now the gap is gone. Remember the gap was here and here. But I added this set of rings. Your piece going to tell you where to put the rings. Like I said, can't go wrong. Your piece is going to guide you all the way. Now, old ring, new ring. Close. 
repeat. Boring. No rain. Okay. We're down to the last two. O ring. No ring. Okay, all ring, no ring, close, repeat, okay, last one. This is the last one in this row. O ring. No ring. Close. This is a perfect circle. Repeat. Repeat. Okay, that's that layer. That layer is complete. Look at that beautiful circle. What's going on right here? Okay. Perfect circle. Look at that. Perfect circle. Hmm, it's a little tight right here. I wonder why. Let me see if I can figure out why that's tight. Maybe I need to add another ring. I think I need to add another ring. It's feeling kind of tight right there. See, look at that. Why is that bunching up like that? There we go. I think I want to add another link. It's feeling kind of tight. Right up in here. Okay, so now I'm ready for my next layer. Time for my next layer. Okay, time for the next layer. That's how you do the circle. 
This is how you do the circle. And when you're ready to start your next layer, see, I knew something's not looking right right here. Look at that. I don't like that. Wonder how can I fix that? I know I need to add another ring. I need to add another set. That's oh, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. It's all right. We're gonna go around again. So rings we working? Okay. You working on our outside rings? These rings. These rings, these rings, these rings, these, these, these. Okay, that's where you're going to put your four. Two here, 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 two here. Okay? All we're doing now is widening the circle. The circle is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I want it to be about, I want it to be about this wide, and then I'll be satisfied. And that can be my first layer. And then I'm going to do 25 more. Okay, now I'm going to show y'all how to do the, the unit, 222 two, 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 two unit again. You want to work on those outside rings. You're going to put four rings on all these rings right here. Like I said, you connect them early if you want to, or you can wait till you get all the rings around, which is what we did to the previous level, level, uh, layer. Okay, I mean, row, previous row. This is a new row we're working on. All we're doing is putting four rings right here. Two, two. Two at the bottom and two at the top. And two at the top. And we're going to do that all the way around. This is how you start your rows. This is how you start your, a new row. Okay? This is the beginning of a new row right here. Now, you want to go all the way around with that same 2 2 2 chain. Remember, we did this in the previous la uh, layer. Remember? So, all we're doing is taking the 2 2 2 chain around and then we're going to connect them. And that's it. Okay, thank y'all for tuning in to my circle. To the be my, uh, beginning of my circle. Tower. <coughs> this would be considered the first layer. <sighs> okay, thank y'all for tuning in. I love you guys. Oh, it's been a long day. I'm gonna call it tonight. Take some more medication, and I'm gonna find me a movie to watch. All right, I love you guys so much. Uh, don't forget, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up, comment or two. Share my video if you find it interesting. Help my channel grow. I love you people. Thank y'all. Y'all already know what to do. I'll hit you girl.